Hi everyone, welcome to GatsbyConf 2021. I'm Marisa, a full, a full stack developer and the creator of Lilac. I will be very happy if you could share your thoughts with my talk by commenting on Twitter with hashtag GatsbyConf or write your questions in Hopin. As you can see my slide, my talk is finding my developer happy path with Gatsby and Contentful. In my talk, you will get to know my positive developer experience in my blog project. No spoiler alert, but you will hear about a brand new free blazing fast hosting in the end of my talk. To get started, I would like to start from who I am and what I do in general. My name is Arisa Fukuzaki and I'm a full stack developer. Originally, I'm from Japan, but I've been living in Germany, Stuttgart area since 2017. As I mentioned, I was raised in Japan, but I didn't start my career straight away from developer job. After college, I worked as a cabin crew in Emirates Airline in Dubai. Unfortunately, the job in there was really hard for me. I tried, so I tried out programming and it was really fun. Then I studied by myself while I was still working in Emirates Airline. Th that's the moment I changed my career. In short, I have four years experience in front end and full stack. In my private time, I love to make my podcast episodes in Japanese and English. I do a lot of interviews from developers and anyone who I admire what they do. So if you want me to interview you, just send me a message in Twitter or just contact me. My hobby is Aikido and Japanese martial arts. Not yet the black belt, but I'm on my way to catch it, catch it up. So you will see how I integrated my hobby as part of design into my blog project later. You saw my old service called Lilac in the previous slide. Lilac is my old service to provide hands-on eBooks and 100% personalized tutoring and to learn front-end. I've been teaching front-end for three years and Lilac is a place where people can learn modern front-end from me, including the tips to get constant job projects or even getting jobs in companies. By the way, this is Lilac's website. I would like to quickly show you. I'm not going to talk about this project today, but um, this time I also built a Lilac with Gatsby as well. So here you can see the loading is very fast, although it's running on local, but um, I'm very proud of the results I tried out in here. I also use the TypeScript in here as well. So here's my project I will talk today, Aiki Developer. Aiki is from Aikido, a Japanese martial arts I love to do. It was quite hard to find the perfect fitting images with Aikido and developers, but it was really fun to draw all images in my own blog. I drew it by myself. And let me quickly show you my blog project in the browser. So you can have a good image of which projects I'm, I'm going to talk about today. As you can see, the loading is under three seconds and each page's loadings are quite fast as well. And I will show you the query or architecture um, behind the screen um, and behind the scenes soon later. So you can take a look at my website in your environment as well. Just search with iKey developer in your browser and to give you a good image of um, you know, um, how this project is built, I will start from which tech stack I used. And my blog project is built by three tech stacks, Gatsby, Contentful, and Gatsby Cloud Hosting. I know it's even highlighted. So Gatsby Cloud Hosting is Gatsby's brand new feature. When I signed up for a speaker in GatsbyConf, I was offered to try out Gatsby Cloud Hosting to give them a feed feedback as a user. I'm so grateful for this opportunity. As I expected, my developer experience with Gatsby Cloud Hosting was amazing. I will show you how fast and easy to host your projects with Gatsby Cloud Hosting soon in this talk. Before we dive into my developer experience in each tech stack I chose, let me make clear why I chose to use CMS. I personally really love to write things, everything's in Markdown and just control in my Git repositories, but Markdown is not familiar for everyone. Editors and writers are used to write and publish contents in the CMS. So about my developer experience, I would like to start from Gatsby. The first impression I had from Gatsby was, Gatsby is so much focused on developer-friendly experience. When I used Gatsby for the first time, it was 2018. At that time, I was building my first Gatsby project. It was a small-scale e-commerce project with Stripe's checkout 
um, feature integrated in it. Although it was my very first time experience to use Gatsby, as long as I had a fundamental of JavaScript and React, I was already able to build with just reading their documentations. Also, if you're familiar with um, component-based architecture, you can easily manage and being flexible to manage project architectures. I will show you the example. So to make it very simple, I will use the most simple exa example based on Gatsby's documentation. So why exactly Gatsby is easy to adopt for React and JavaScript developers? If you're React or JavaScript developers, you will get this code example right away, I think. It's almost nothing different from React code. You have JS coding with JSX combined architecture. This is what React code also looks like. And over 90% of the code you see in here is based on React architecture. Earlier, I mentioned Gatsby has component-based flexible architecture. Let me use the same source code I just showed you to tell how Gatsby is easy to get started for React and JavaScript developers. You already can see two components I highlighted in blue and green. Let's say you changed your mind and don't want to use layout component anymore. All you have to do is just delete the layout component import and do the same in layout JSX component. Simply just delete the, um, what I highlighted in blue. If you want to apply a different style of layout, you just create another layout component, then import in this component file and simply just return as JSX component. So far, I showed you how Gatsby is developer friendly, especially if you're React or JavaScript developers. And here, I'd like to insist that Gatsby's data query, um, sorry, Gatsby's data query handling in React-based code is also really nice. Why nice? There are two main points. First, it's nice because React-based code and data query are in one place. Second, Gatsby has a nice hands-on documentation to learn data query handling in Gatsby. What I mean to say for the first point is React and query language in one source code. Personally, I feel it's so beautiful when I see the unique architecture like this, and I will show you with an easy example soon. About the second point I made, I didn't have experience at all at the time with GraphQL. So even so, I, I still was able to build query architecture and get the data query as I aimed. This much Gatsby's documentation is really hands-on. I would say Gatsby's project is a perfect opportunity to learn GraphQL. Here is an example of what I mentioned, a React-based framework and query language in one place. The blue highlight is a data query block and green highlight part is React-ish block. Isn't it beautiful? For me, it's so nice because you can handle a framework and, and a query language at the same time in one place, but architecture is still clean and organized. As I mentioned, Gatsby has really nice documentations. All of them are hands-on. So there, there are so much visual sources are in there. Windows and Linux instructions are um, included with very details as well. Here's the section um, in their documentation to get started to use GraphQL. You will build a very simple web app to input the way to control data query with GraphQL in Gatsby. You will find a lot of hands-on documentations like this to master GraphQL. By the way, can you guess my total performance score in this project? Um, it's not the official quiz from GatsbyConf, but just for fun, let's do it. Write your answer and hop in. So do you think it's 85 or even full score 100 or in the compromise option 95? Okay, time's up. The answer is 100. I'm still really proud of the results I have. And it's not that difficult to score this high if you choose Gatsby to use in your projects and follow what's written in the documentations. I would love to, I would love to um, move on to my developer experience in Contentful. Let's jump right into the details. With Contentful, I have one simple point to tell that I had a great developer experience. So Contentful is very flexible and easy to work with GraphQL. It was also first time for me to use API-based modern headless CMS at that time. I love API because API does most of all heavy lifting and all we need to do is just to call the values we need and stringify to make easy to control in any ways we want. Contentful and Gatsby do all the heavy lifting for you. So all you need to do is connect your Gatsby projects with Contentful spaces and customize in any ways you want. 
Here is an instruction to link your Gatsby projects and your content for spaces. Only three steps. Easy, right? I'm not going to talk about the details because everything is in the documentations. And also step one and two will just take less than, I would say, three minutes to set up. And step three is also not that hard if you try with reading documentations. The thing I want to focus on in here um, is my project use case. So I will show you my use case of content types in Contentful. I guess content type use cases are all look different in each project, but to see as many as you know use cases useful to give you a good idea how you want to manage your content types. The left image in here is my content post space screen with content model section. The middle image is the project running in the browser, and the right image is again in content post space, but in content section. If I summarize what exactly I'm showing you in here, the left is content type architecture I built with GraphQL. The middle is how I see in the browser and the right is the editorial screen based on how I structured um, content types. And here I have seven content types. To make it simple in here, I will only talk about two major content types in this project to trace back how I built this content type um, architecture. So we will only talk about title and top image content types to trace back how my GraphQL data query architecture looks like. Each same color highlights are the common content types. The purple highlight is title content type and the pink highlight is top image content type. What you see right now is the data query I wrote in the blog template component. If we trace back title and top image data query, you will find in here. So same like the screenshot, I just um, screenshot images I just showed you. The purple is title content type and the pink is top image content type. It doesn't look complicated at all. So super easy, simple and flexible. This is why I really love to use Contentful with my Gatsby projects. And here I would like to show you the highlight of my talk today, Gatsby Cloud Hosting. It's a brand new feature from Gatsby you just heard today. There are two main points I really liked about Gatsby Cloud Hosting. First one, Gatsby ecosystem has all you need in one place. Imagine you need to jump back and forth different platforms in order to manage one single web or web application. And imagine you have several projects like this. You don't want to imagine, right? It's way easier to forget than remembering how you organize your projects in all these different platforms. But with Gatsby, now you can develop your projects, build, preview, even getting instant feedback and host your projects. Everything you need in order to develop, build and host your web and web applications are in Gatsby. A second point I really liked about Gatsby Cloud Hosting is easy to set up. This is very important for developers because we want to code more instead of having a headache with setting up things, you know, things. So you find two good keywords in here, easy and free. Gatsby Cloud Hosting is easy to transfer from other hosting services with free SSL certificates and easy to set up custom domain. Actually, I transferred this time from Netlify. It was nothing complicated at all to transfer. In my case, I used name.com as a third party DNS manager to transfer my DNS. Name.com also has a nice, helpful, hands on documentations as well. All I had to do in here is just follow what the documentation says, and SSL certificates are automatically generated. And people who visited my blog gave me comments in general like this. From this, I really can tell Gatsby is attracting users and developers by their great site performance and great developer experience. Before I finish my talk, I would like to wrap up this summary. In terms of my developer experience with Gatsby, there are two things I would like to insist. First, Gatsby is easy to start for React and JavaScript developers. And second, Gatsby has a framework and a query language in one place. From Contentful, I have one thing would like to highlight. Contentful is very easy to connect with Gatsby, Gatsby projects. And lastly, from Gatsby Cloud Hosting, I have one thing would like, would like to highlight. Gatsby Cloud Hosting enabled Gatsby ecosystem to have everything in one place. In the end, I want to summarize my developer experience through my blog project. Gatsby changes your developer experience. 
your developer experience will be much more simple, organized, and fast. Goodbye to painful legacy developer experience. And I really hope you enjoyed my talk. If you're interested in to ask me questions related with my talk, write me in a hop in. I hope we have a couple of minutes in um, live Q&A session now. Uh, Q&A now. So I'm very glad to answer your questions. Here's my Twitter, GitHub, and of course my blog. Feel free to reach me out. I'll be very happy to talk to you. Thanks for watching.